There's a new AI chatbot which has just come out, which is well worth taking a look at, um, particularly if you use AI for research. Um, it's great for interrogating uh, large documents and research papers. It's called Claude. Uh, it's an interesting alternative to ChatGPT and Google Bard. It's created by an AI company called Anthropic and it's free to use. To get it, go to Claude.ai. At the moment, it only seems to be available in the US and the UK, but obviously VPNs work. Claude 2 can do tasks like summarising, searching, um, writing and coding. It can analyse documents up to 75,000 words, about three times what ChatGPT can do. And you can upload several documents at a time as well, which is pretty cool. So that ChatGPT, it hasn't got internet access, but its data set runs for a much more recent set of data. This goes up to early 2023, with ChatGPT is late 2021. So you've got much more um, recent data to analyse and for it to draw upon. Okay, so let's start by taking a look. So as I said, you go to Claude.ai. Um, you get a page like this. Obviously, you need to sign in and create an account, and then you can chat down here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a document to Claude for it to analyze. So, I'm going to click on the paperclip, find my file browser. I'm going to go into one of my folders. I'm going to find one of my files. I'm going to analyze this one here. So, I'm going to double click on that file. It's going to upload the file for me, and then I can ask it to summarize the article. I can ask it questions about that paper. So, I'm going to say, summarize the article for me. and it'll produce a summary for me of the article, of the paper. So that's great, that saves me time having to read the entire thing. It's picking out the key points for me. So I could ask it to give me the top 10 key points from this paper, which it's kind of done above, but it'll give me 10 if it hasn't done that before. I can also sort of really simplify it, so maybe explain this to me like I'm five. Which is kind of nice. It's quite wordy, really, for a five year old. That's still quite good for, for me. I can ask it specific questions as well. So I'm asking how a particular um, point they discovered, a particular point they found out. So this was about student drawing. So, yeah, how does a typical eight year old draw the organs of the body? I can ask it that, and it'll find that bit of information from the paper. So it's pretty good at. Yeah, you know, if you want to ask questions about the paper, ask particular things that you want to find out. Also, you can ask other things like, you know, can you suggest other papers on this topic that I should read? And I can now go and, and Google those, look on Google Scholar, or look on the, the EBSCO database and find out what they are and find some more about those. If I wanted to then use this part of one of the assignments I'm writing or part of the projects I'm writing, I want the Harvard referencing and sometimes I don't want to start delving through the paper to find that. I can just ask it, can you give me the Harvard citation of this article and it will just piece that together for me so I've got it ready to go. I can just copy and paste that. And I can just copy that. Or I can click copy there. I can paste that into my document if I've got a document running alongside where I'm, I'm doing my research. So Claude is, is really good. It's free. Um, it's great to have running alongside uh, ChatGPT. Like I said, you might need to use a VPN if you want to get get it if you're outside the US or the UK. Um, I'm assuming they'll change that at some point. It's great for retrieving information, for summarizing large documents, ex explaining complex uh, concepts. You know, explain to me like I'm five or summarize this for me. Um, you don't have to upload an article. You can get it to to, to you know, ask questions, same way you would ask ChatGPT questions. But I, I love this feature of uploading a PDF file. Also, it can be a text file. So if you've got a whole load of text. You if you want to analyze that, just upload the text file, it'll analyze that for you. So it's called Claude, it's totally free at the moment. I'm assuming that kind of thing will change, and there'll be premiums and stuff, but at the moment it's free to use. Uh, go to claude.ai and um, let me know what you think. Hope you found that useful. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Thanks for your time. Cheers, goodbye.